I'm Dave Lockett and this is a quasar. While the design looks reasonably futuristic, work started on the quasar in 1968 when Malcolm Newell, the father of the quasar design, and Ken Lehman discussed a fully enclosed feet forward motorcycle. Their plans came to fruition in 1976 and over the next 8 to 10 years no more than 30 odd quasars were produced. The roots of the Quasar design go back to a pre-war vintage motorcycle called the Nera car. Uh, more importantly, streamlining a motorcycle was proven to be worthwhile in Bonneville in 1956 when a Triumph streamliner ran well over 200 mile an hour and gave the name Bonneville to Triumph Motorcycle's most famous product. It stands to reason that when streamlining is applied in the road going motorcycle it should be more efficient than a standard motorcycle both in top speed and in petrol consumption and in this case, this particular motorcycle will do well over 50 miles to the gallon. This is the only Quasar replica in the world. It's 
seating position is very low and unlike a normal motorcycle where you're straddling the bike and the centre of gravity is quite high, in the Quasar you're sitting on the fuel tank, the engine is mounted very low and all of the weight is below the rider, which on the road equates to excellent handling. It handles absolutely superbly as you'll see in the video, much, much better than people expect it's going to. The front end is a Earl's fork or leading link design with adjustable floating brakes uh, which allow for uh, a mechanical anti-dive meaning that the brakes can be used quite fiercely in any corner without fear of upsetting the handle of the motorcycle. Carried on on a closed road under controlled conditions. <laughs> <laughs>